and welcome to Reykjavik Grapevine's newscast. My name is Valur Grætisson. I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. We're back at, back at the volcano site. We're now at, on the east side, and we are seeing now that we have been missing a lot. <laughs> if you see the lava field here, it's incredible. It's huge. Uh, we are very surprised to see this, but, uh, but not really, though. We've been on the, been on the west because of the wind uh, past weeks. Or, or, yeah, weeks, I guess. Uh, but the thing is, this here, the valley, doesn't really have a name even. Uh, the one mountain is here, the volcano, behind the big one here. Uh, but uh, this lava here, was there was no lava at all when we came here the last time. Uh, this is hiking route A, so we used to hike here and we go, of course, uh, to the west of the mountain over there. But it's insane. But uh, yeah, I, I want a few things I want to get out of the way, of course. Uh, remember instukbeer.com. Instukbeer is our absolutely fine, uh, favorite beer, especially the light one. Uh, and also, if you need shoes, I have to mention this because uh, mostly because people that are coming here are many in like sneakers and, and, uh, and whatever. Uh, of course, uh, not everything is like. Not everybody has the same taste when it comes to hiking boots, but I'm always in these very thick hiking boots, uh, and I always buy these in Fjalla Kofin, or uh, the mountain carpet. It's on Laugavur in, in, the, in uh, downtown Reykjavik, uh, and it's, it's the, basically the go-to place if you want to go and buy some hiking gear. Uh, and remember our online shop, and we're going to go and see the, the, the volcano, and we just saw a glimpse of it on the way here, and it's very different, and actually this, they, the, the fountain is incredibly large. So let's hope we see that. This crater here is just called number five by scientists. And as you can see, probably and hopefully, it's much, much more powerful than any of the other ones before. Look at that. Hear the sound. It's like a jet. It's literally like the geysers uh, when it just blows up uh, ferociously. Uh, and then, of course, the lava goes here down and to the lava behind the, the cameraman. <laughs> uh, but we want to take a little bit better look at this, so we're going to walk down here, and I'll tell you the news there. Craters here, uh, here are silenced, uh, except this one huge one. And as you can see, it's incredibly active, meaning that all the activity onto the other craters are obviously finding their way up there, and it's a powerful display for sure. <laughs> it's incredible, to be honest. I haven't seen such a majestic volcano ever, I think. And you can see uh, number one here, the first one. Southy and Northy, or for Bob, I think. Uh, it's just tiny next to the other one. And the other one is just started to be more active uh, around a week ago. And you can see what kind of a monster it is literally now. And you can also just hear the, the noise. <laughs> it's literally like a jet propeller or something. It's very, very like loud and very interesting. And also, we are probably what would I, like 300 meters perhaps away from this. But again, I'm, I'm bad when it comes to directions and lengths, but uh, we can feel a lot of heat here. It's very, very warm. Also, because the huge lava river is, of course, going down here, as you can see. But <clears throat> the, in the news, uh, 
There were people here yesterday, 200 people, and two of them actually were, had to go to an ambulance, be evacuated off the, off the area and, and go into the ambulance to the hospital because they had some, uh, they felt bad and, and it's, it's pretty certain that it's like poison from the gas. So the gas is, of course, still uh, uh, a thing you really need, really need to keep attention to. And especially in weather like this, there is like, there's no wind here, meaning that the, the pollution from the mountain can go either way. It's not here. I mean, you, you can feel it pretty, pretty immediately. If you're here for the longest time, you, you can feel it in your throat and even in your eyes. So when you do that, then just take a walk and, and just go into another kind of place. Uh, uh, also, this is uh, number five. And he actually, this lava here, uh, connected to the one that is over there and goes to Meradalir. So I'm not sure if it's any more going like that, but uh, meaning that we're, we're not, this is not the only lava, new lava we're seeing. Uh, it's, it, there is more coming from the, into the Meradalir, which is on, on the north side of here. Uh, and also we have had some earthquakes. Luckily, these earthquakes, they have nothing to do with this area. And these earthquakes were like around 3.8 in magnitude. Not that much, but uh, it's concerning that it's coming from a place called Hinkit. And Hinkit is perhaps something we can see from here. Uh, it's over there, and it's also a part of the volcanic system in Reykjanes, uh, of these five different systems. Uh, and if that really goes off, uh, then you will have uh, eruption that could be in the, in the same uh, size of, for example, Eyjafjallajökull. But it's too soon to be stressed about that. Let's at least uh, just enjoy this one for, for now. Uh, uh, the, the scientists, they say uh, that uh, this mountain that will probably go off just in, in a few, few minutes, number five, that the lava goes up 250 meters when it's the highest. Uh, me and Arthur just doing the calculation. We, we do not believe this, <laughs> but, but it goes incredibly high nonetheless. I don't know what the ground point is when they it, when it do this calculation, but of course it is very high and it's very majestic to look at this. It's, it's absolutely insane. Uh, and also uh, the lava here, of course, this lava here is very fresh and new. And you can see this is, of course, very dangerous. Nobody's going to go into this lava except this, he has a death wish. Uh, but the other lava here all around, a lot of it is very cooled down and it seems uh, safe. And I saw a lot of people regularly actually asking us uh, in our last video if it was safe to go to the lava like some people did. And the answer is no. Uh, the reason is because uh, the, the rescue teams, as well as scientists, they had a satellite. They were measuring the heat in the, in the area. And they saw that in just random places, you can have uh, like lava, which seems cool, with up to 600 degrees under. So it breaks, you go in there. I mean, we don't have to tell you what happens there, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so it, it seems perhaps uh, uh, like safe to go up there, but the rule is do not do it. It's not a <laughs> safe option uh, and will never be basically. Uh, but uh, yeah, and in the end, I actually, I wanted to tell you, uh, I saw that, I, of course, I, I didn't re even realize this myself, uh, but I was talking about summer in the, my last uh, newscast and a lot of people were making fun of this, like, hey, the summer is like 21st of June. And that is true if you live in the US or UK or, or somewhere uh, that goes with that. But summer is not always the same, like it doesn't have the same date in, in all countries in the world. <laughs> Iceland, for example, we follow a very ancient Nordic uh, calendar when it comes to summer. It's related to these old months. So, uh, meaning that summer in Iceland starts actually uh, on the first Thursday of the 18th of April. But when it comes to... Uh, uh, which is most often on, on like 24th or 23rd of uh, April. Means, meaning that we don't have uh, spring. We have uh, six months of summer and six months of winter. Whoa, there it goes again. Enjoy it, subscribe, remember our online shop. Uh, Art want to show you more, so enjoy this.